Hello everyone, welcome to video 2 of chapter 4. This is chapter 4.2 in the textbook. We will now give a formal definition of the dual problem. Before we can do that, we need to introduce two definitions. Definition 1, we introduce the concept of the max form. So, here it is. The following linear programming problem is said to be in max form. So the form is the following. Maximize an objective function subject to the constraint. So here, n is the number of variables. m is the number of constraints. Okay, and it's a linear relation. And... Uh, to call the attention that for this max problem the constraints are less than equal sign okay so we say a problem is in max form this one and we also say such a problem is a max problem okay so that's first definition okay so the second definition is a counterpart of a definition one we will define a problem in mean form. So the LP is in mean form if it looks like the following. So I will minimize some objective function subject to the constraints. So here I still use m as the number of variables, m as number of constraints. So I have all these linear constraints. And one thing we need to Pay attention or be careful is for the minimization problem um, the constraints are all with the bigger than equal sign okay otherwise um, it on the surface it looks very similar you change max into mean and you change the sign of the inequality to bigger than equal to and this becomes a mean problem we also call it that Okay, so this is um, the important definition. Definition three, dual problem. So this is defined only for the max problem. Okay, and the other part will come later. So consider the max problem in definition one. And then we can form a dual problem, which is the following. So you can go back and look at that definition one again. Okay, so... Definition one is a max problem. So now I have the following. I want to minimize V, which is B1, Y1, plus B2, Y2, plus all the way to B, M, Y, M. Now Y is my variable. And now I have M variables, and then I have N constraints. So the, the number is switched, okay? And the constraints are the following a11 y1 a21 y2 to am1 y1 i add up will be bigger than c1 this was originally the um, coefficient for the objective function okay so you like go down the column you add them up and you have bigger than equal to so remember the example we went through in chapter 4.1 so now you see this Okay, and then you go through each column, and then you form your constraints. And then all the y's are restricted. So we notice that the dual, this definition of the max problem, in the end becomes a mean problem, which is in the mean form. Okay, let's make some observations and uh, see the connections between the max problem and its dual, which is a main problem. So we see that maxim maximizing is switched with minimizing. And then in the constraint, the less than equal and bigger than equal are switched. And uh, also, the third part, if you look at the coefficient as a matrix in its position, then you see you transposed it. And then 
you also switched the rows of the coefficient ci with the vi with the rows okay so maybe it's better to take a look at an example okay so here is an example of uh, how to write out the dual of an lp in max form so we have the linear programming problem in max form like this and uh, maximizing x1 plus x2 plus x3 subject to two constraints and uh, restricted variables how do we set up the corresponding dual so for the dual we need to introduce variable y1 y2 right so we know for each constraint here, we would introduce a variable. So y1 for this, y2 for this. And then um, the objective function becomes this column here. So 10 y1 plus 15 y2. So that's what you want to minimize. Okay, and then what are the constraints? Oh, well, the constraints will be adding these up vertically. Look at the coefficient. So multiply the first one by y1 and the second one by y2, add them up, and uh, that shall be bigger than the coefficient in front of the objective function. So I have 1, y1, 4, y2, bigger than 1, the first constraint, and the second constraint is 2, y1, 5, y2, bigger than 1 here in front of x2, and the third is 3y1 here plus 1 times y2 here shall be bigger than what's in front of x3, which is 1. And then, of course, um, y1, y2, they are restricted. Okay, So this is just like the first example of writing out a dual. So we'll study more in future lectures. And hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you next time.